I'm super excited about the work you've been doing over the last few years because it's completely transformed the way that I think about light and health, light and mitochondria. And frankly, every environment I go into now, indoor or outdoor, I think about how that lighting environment is impacting my cellular health, maybe even my longevity. So now, when we make mitochondria make energy, they make energy called ATP, and you make your body weight in that every day. It's a vast process. Mitochondria have these little wheels, these pumps that spin around, but they spin around in water, nano water. So one idea I think which we have to take quite seriously is that the viscosity of water is changing as a consequence of long wavelength light that penetrates deeply in the body. There is an increase in the spin rate of the motor that produces ATP and it gains momentum. So the first reaction I think is that the motor starts to go around a little faster, but then something else happens, which is really interesting, which is we start to make more of these chains that make energy. So let's say mitochondria has got a, is a chain, it's a series of things, and electrons are passed along that chain um, to produce energy. Well, when we give long wavelength light, we find the proteins in those chains, we find a lot more of them. So my analogy is, that giving red light gets the train to run down the track faster. That's true. But then something detects the speed of that train and says, lay down more tracks. So we're finding a lot more protein there um, that is associated with passing that electron down the pathway to make energy. Interesting. So it sounds as if long wavelength light via water is actually changing the structure of mitochondria and its function as well. I think I, I think I would say it's it's improving the function and it's influencing the the mito more mitochondrial proteins mm -hmm. to be synthesized.